into another cooking episode with me, K1 Mildred. You're always welcome to my island. Today we're going to be making um, dole. I can describe it as the African peanut vegetable stew because it's a combination of peanuts and vegetables. You can choose whichever vegetable you want, but traditionally we use bitali. I'll give you the scientific name on the video. But today I'm going to be using spinach. So I need two kilograms of thick spinach, some meat, like half a kilogram of meat. We're going to need two large onions. The secret to having the best dole is using lots of onions. And we're going to use some leek. I think in French we call it poireau. Around here it's known as cray. So it's just like a stem of cray, a stem of ginger, four cloves of garlic, some white pepper and black pepper, three seasoning cubes, half a teaspoon of salt, we're going to use some salt, and some uh, shrimps, I already peeled the shrimp, and some crayfish, just like half a cup of crayfish, that's optional, but I always like to have some crayfish taste in my indole. And the peanuts, it's like the main spice, the main ingredient that we're going to use in this vegetable sauce, and it's already boiled, I boiled it already, that's like, 600 grams of peanuts without the skin. When you get it in the shop, it looks like this in some of the African shops around here. And we're going to eat the ndole with some nyondo. Nyondo is a cassava, fermented cassava that has been wrapped in some leaves. So that's it, guys. Let's get started with our cooking. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'll just put the nyondo to start boiling while I blend the peanuts. So, I'll just put this in the pot. Just like that, I just want to put it in the pot with some water so that it can boil nicely with water. You can also get the nyondo in African shops if you're in Europe or anywhere you are, you can find it in the African shops. So that's it from Nyondo. Meanwhile, I'll proceed to blending the granules. And for the peanuts, I can use it interchange interchangeably. Peanuts, granules is the same thing. So I'm going to blend this together with ginger, garlic, and the poireau, the, the leek. The you don't want to throw away the water in which you boil the peanuts because that's the water we're going to use to blend. You need water to blend the peanuts. So we're going to use all of that water to blend our peanuts. In order to blend this, I'll add in the cloves of three cloves of garlic, ginger, and the poireau. Poireau should be weak. So I'm just going to put them together. Okay, friends, I just blended the granules so I have a fine paste. So the next thing we want to do is to, to fry some onions. That's like a cup of oil. So I'm not using all of the oil because we're going to use some later as you see us progress. I used one of the onions already. I, I cut some of the onions. So one I'll keep aside for later use. So the first thing we want to do is to fry some onions. I'm just going to fry the onions. Remember to sprinkle in some salt, just a little bit of salt to fry the onions and a little bit of white pepper. Just saute the onions slightly or lightly. You fry the onions slightly. Then into my onions, I'll pour the blended peanuts into the onions. Then you give it a good mix. You can rinse it out with some extra water. 
wring this out with some extra water and pour it into, a, into that mix. And you give it a stir. Just give it a good stir. So at this point, I will add in the meat and I'm using beef, already boiled beef. And I boil the beef with some seasoning cubes, some onions and some salt. You can use different kinds of things to make this vegetable stew. You can use a, a cow skin, cow leg, whatever rocks your boat. But I'm going with beef. So I'll add my beef in here. Then I'll let it simmer for a few minutes. My peanuts. I've simmered for seven minutes and I'm going to check, just stir, working your spoon into that. If you can see the texture, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, you don't want it to be too thick. And I'll just check on, okay. Remember, I'm boiling my other side by side. So, this I'm going to put in here. Then you stir. You stir in the vegetables. If you're using bitter leaf, you stir it in. And I'm using spinach to make ndole. Cameroonians call it ndole and different African countries have their variation some countries will use the peanuts with the skin to make this but we do it without the skin so you just want to mix it together and into that I'm going to pour in white pepper and black pepper together then some salt Sprinkling some salt and a seasoning cube for a start. We may need another seasoning cube, but time will tell. So let's just mix this up. We want to give it a good mix. So that the black pepper, the white pepper, the salt, and the seasoning cubes get married together with the peanuts and the vegetable it looks green and nice i'm just going to let this stand for two minutes then we'll add in the crayfish so this stood for a while like two minutes and if you can see inside it looks really good. I like my dole not too much of the vegetable. I like to see the granite. To, I like to see it white, a little bit whitish with the vegetable. You know the key ingredient, ingredient is the key ingredient is the peanut, the white peanuts, the peeled peanuts. So I like to see that white. I'm just going to add in some crayfish. This is completely optional, but because I like the taste of crayfish, it always gives us a nice kick to the rondole. So I'm adding in some crayfish and I'm just going to mix it up. Just give it a good mix, a very good mix. Just like that. Perfect. This rondole um, is already boiled. And I think it's good. So I'm going to take it out. That took like 20 minutes to boil. I'll keep that aside. And this pot of ndole, I'm equally going to put it aside. But we're not done, guys. We're going to... Remember I used one of the onions when I started cooking that? And I told you guys we're going to use some onions. 
at the end. So I'll fry the onions. And into my onions. I want to fry into the onions. I'll add in some shrimp. Um, it's like 300 grams of shrimp. I'll just let it fry. You see? The onions is fried to perfection and the shrimp as well. So what you want to do is just to bring this pot right back here and you pour this into into Lindole. Sorry. Then you're going to mix it all together. So you pour it in and you just give it another mix. You see that? See the way it is? Doesn't it look good? <laughs> I think it looks gorgeous. So we'll just let it stand again for another minute, just one minute so the onions and the steam can come together. And I promise we are done. My friends, this is done. Our dole is ready. So, what left? Have a taste. Remember, you can always use um, use more oil if you if you want. But I just want I'm not using a lot of oil in this. And of course, you can always use vitale if you can use spinach to do that. You can use any other thing. And I'm having mine. I'm having my dole with nyondo. Dole can also go with fried plantains, dodo. And I fried plantains in one of my videos, I think the roasted fish video. You can check the roasted fish video on how to fry plantains if you choose to have it with fried plantains. But I'm going with Nyondo this afternoon. And time to taste. This is so so good. It's so so sweet. I don't know what makes it sweet. Maybe the peanuts, maybe the shrimps, maybe the meat. It is super good. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like my video, give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. There's a video showing you how to subscribe to my channel. Till I see you again, do stay blessed. Bye. Thank you.